Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I am going to practically demonstrate how to retrieve the table data from the second row of the table or third row of the table or fourth row of the table. So let's get started. In the previous session, I have practically shown you how to retrieve the table data from the first row of the table. Now here, I would like to retrieve the table data from the second or third or fourth rows of the table. Okay. So if you know how to retrieve from the first row, understanding the uh, retrieving of the table data from second or third or fourth is very easy or any other rows is very easy. Okay. So here is an example page where we have the sample table from which we are going to retrieve this table data. Okay. Of this particular rows. I'll open this browser. In the browser, I'll open this application URL. And here we have the sample table. I'll right click inspect here. I need to create a proper XPath expression uh, locating the table data of the second row or locating the table data of the third row, locating the table data of the fourth row, etc. Like that. Okay. So let's do that. For that, I'll just open the selectors up or you know, inspect this uh, thing and then okay. And here say control F. Here you can write the XPath expression, or here also you can write the XPath expression up to you. Okay, if uh, if you don't want to depend on the tools like selectors and all, you can use a default Google Chrome Dev tools. Okay, so here I'll write a double slash table, double slash table. At the rate ID is equal to table one. First, let's locate the table, guys. So let's locate the table using this XPath expression. And under that table, we have the T body. You see, when I hover the mouse on the T body, you see that T body section, the table data section is getting located. T body, you just write down. If I press enter, you say only T body got located. In that, I want the second row. I want the second row table data. For that, under the T body, this is the first row, this is the second row. Okay. So I would write slash. If I give TR of one, means it will locate the first row. You see, there's a table data's first row. Okay. Table body's first row. If I give two here, second row. If I give three here, third row. If I give four here, fourth row. Like that. Any row you want to select, I want second row now. Manage. Manish 25 Pune I want, so I'll give instead of four, I'll give two here press enter. And here complete row is getting selected. I want the data in this particular second row to be selected. So the data under the second row is under the TD tag. So I have to simply say tier of two slash TD. Press enter. You see Manish 25 Pune. Now three items. Three put table data Manish 25 Pune from the second row of the T body of the table got located. Copy this and uh, go to this. Uh, PyCharm ID, where we have some sample Selenium Python code for opening the Chrome browser for maximizing the browser window. And here we have to open the application URL, copy this URL and paste it here. After, after pasting this application URL here, after opening the application URL using the Selenium Python script. Now here I'll copy this XPath expression, which is locating this particular second row of the table body of the table. Okay, table data in the second row of the table data of the table. And here I'll write down driver dot find elements, I'll write. Because this XPath expression is giving you, returning you multiple table data from that row, the second row of the table. Here in double quotes, give that XPath expression. And uh, since it is find elements, uh, you'll get uh, a list of uh, you know elements. I'll just say table underscore data, I'll say. And here, I'll write the for loop. I'll iterate this table data. The three items are there, right? Uh, I'll iterate these three items. I'll say data in table data. I'll say data dot. Okay, data dot uh, text like this. Okay, web element dot uh, that is okay. Any problem here? Table date is coming data here actually. Okay, that is a spelling mistake. That's okay. Now table dot text data dot text means it will retrieve the table data of that particular row of the second row of the table. Okay. Now I'll simply say driver dot pitch. Now run the script. Second row, okay, of the table body, table data should be retrieved and printed, okay. That is Manish, uh, Pune and something, okay. Let the page load. Selenium will wait until the page loads completely. You see Manish 25 Pune got retrieved and printed. That is nothing but the second row of the table body of the table, okay. Now third row of the table data in the third row of the table body of the table I want. That is Pravin 29 Bangalore I want. So I just need to tweak this XPath expression a bit. Instead of TR2, I have to give T, T TR3 of 2, okay. Instead of TR2 of, instead of TR of 2, I have to give TR of 3. Simple words, okay. You say private 29 Bangalore and under TD means uh, these three elements. Copy this and uh, modify this XPath expression here. Okay. 
if you change this tr of two to tr of three, third row's uh, table data will be retrieved. Okay. That is nothing but Pravin 29 Bangalore should be retrieved and printed in the output console. Let's see. Pravin 29 Bangalore. Done. Now the last uh, rows. Okay. So I have to give tr of four. Tr of four. Just change the number, it will be done. Copy this. Uh, you don't have to copy also, just change the number directly here. That is also same. Run this. The last row that is uh, DP31 Mumbai should be retrieved and printed in the output console. DP31 Mumbai done. Okay. So if, if you want the first row also, the same thing is a tier of one, you have to give that's it. Okay. Here you have to give tier of one. The first row data will come. That is Kishore 22 Delhi will come. So this is how guys we can retrieve the table data from the respective rows of the table. Okay. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.